Kyle McGob, everybody. It's time for a track by track album battle, and uh, I'm doing this one for Mr. Tim Bream. Now, Tim Bream is responsible for a lot of the great um, fo uh, Photoshop things, memes. He is the king of the memes that I put up on the news. It's either him, Vincent Cavanaugh, or a bunch of people that I rip off online, just take their stuff. But I never claim to credit, and when I do remember, I know there's a couple times I forget, but it's usually Tim Bream or Vincent Cavanaugh who comes up with these hilarious memes. And he suggested I do Kiss Asylum versus Bang Tango Psycho, Cir uh, Psycho Cafe. Now, Tim Bream loves Bang Tango, boy. I mean, that guy is constantly posting them and annoying people, and I know. I know you do it to annoy people, but that's cool, you know. Whatever gets your job, whatever, uh, fan, uh, whatever tickles your sphincter, dude. But it's funny to see people get bothered by him, his love for this band, because it's just, I, I find it so ridiculous how anybody can get bothered by what anybody likes. I mean... I know most of you know how I feel about Sammy Hagar, but people that like Sammy Hagar, I, hey man, that's cool with me. And even cooler is I get these comments on these, these anti-Sammy Hagar videos I put up. People are like, I love Sammy, but I also love your hatred for him. Those people have never, ever whistled on a pickle. So um, I took notes, and my notes are way over there. So I got them here. And I sat down and listened to this Bang Tango album with an open mind. You know, I wasn't, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to like this. Because I do know the song Someone Like You, and I hate it. I mean, I really hate it because the guy's voice. And really, the music doesn't do anything for me. But I will say this before I get on, because, uh, spoiler alert, I think the whole album sucks. But it doesn't matter to people like Tim Bream. It shouldn't matter. To people like Tim Bream, they love Pang Tango and more power to them. So what I say shouldn't mean jack shit to people that love Bang Tango. You should look at it as, well, bro, it's your loss. And it is. It is my loss. It's my loss not being into Sammy Hagar. It's not my loss not being into you too. All these stuff, all these bands that people love, it does something for them. It gives them joy. And I don't get that from these bands. Therefore, I lose, they win. And Tim, you definitely win with Bang Tango. All right, so let's start this, okay? The first song is King of the Mountain Kiss, which I love. I love that song. And that one's going against Attack of Life. Now, I'm listening to this and I'm thinking, all right, you know, these guys are good musicians. I can tell they know how to play their instruments. But as a song, it doesn't connect with me. And then the vocals, oh man, I just, man, this guy's vocals through the whole album annoy me. But what matters is that you like it, Tim. Who gives a fuck what I think? So, of course, I'm giving that one a um, king of the mountain. So next is Any Way You Slice It versus Someone Like You. Now, Someone Like You is, like I said, that's a song I know. I remember from uh, Headbangers Ball back in the day. Uh, they played it a lot. This band was promoted very well. Surprising it didn't, you know, take off. But I remember that Someone Like You video was played all the damn time. Um, I'm going with Any Way You Slice It for obvious reasons. All right, let's go to the next one. Who Wants to Be Lonely? Now, Pickle Whistlers that love Bang Tango are going to get upset with me, obviously. But pickle whistlers that like any uh, who wants to be lonely, they're gonna get upset with me too, cause that song annoys the piss out of me. Seriously, I listen to that song and I have to run to the toilet to pee. My bladder explodes. I hate that song so much. I hate it. The little middle section, dun 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 dun, dun boom. I like that. So we got one little good thing about it, and that's going up with <laughs> "Wrap My Wings." You know, again, it does nothing for me. And the guy's voice, man. I'm back! I'm back! Oh, no, no, go, go, don't, go away. Don't come back. Go over to Tim Bream's house. Not here, man. 
Uh, so, um, and, and you know, the, the title, Wrap My Wings, I mean, I remember saying that at a rib joint once. You know, when I was done eating, I, I couldn't finish all the wings. I, I told uh, the waiter, hey, uh, wrap my wings. Um, I'm going to give it to wrap my wings. That's how much I despise who wants to be lonely. Ooh. All right. There you go. Bang Tango got one. Ain't going to be a complete shutout. All right. Then we got Trial of Fire, which is not that good either. Uh, and I love Asylum, by the way. It just has a few clunkers for me. Uh, versus Breaking Up a Heart of Stone. Now, what did I write about this one? Uh, it's annoying. Uh, but it's not as annoying as the tracks before, I'll admit. Uh, but it kind of reminds me of The Cure. I don't know why. Like a heavy metal cure, a hard rock cure. And, I, uh, hey, I hate the cure, too, man. All you uh, pickle whistlers might get upset at that, too. But the cool cure fans, they're okay with me saying stuff like, hey, look, I don't like the cure. And the reason Robert Smith's makeup is so smeared like that is because he, he does paint his lips perfectly. But, you know, before a show backstage, three or five guys fuck, skull fuck him, and it gets all messy. There's nothing wrong with that. Hey, man, I'm no homophobe. I say viva la gay man and keep uh, getting throw fucked because that means more women for us straight guys. Um, <clears throat> then we got I'm Alive. Well, did I, did I say? Yeah. Um, I'm giving it actually to Breaking Up, that, that Cure sounding song. Another one for Bang Tango. And I don't like the tune, but I think it's better than Trial by Fire. All right, the next one is I'm Alive versus Shotgun Man. Shotgun Man, uh, it's okay compared to what I heard so far. It's even better than the last tune. But to me, I don't know, man. I just get a vibe that they're just trying too hard. Adding in a little funk and stuff. And to me, it's just like, they, it, it, as a song, as a cohesive song, it doesn't do to me what it does to Mr. Tim Breen. Whew, way over my head. Uh, I'm alive. It's all right. I mean, it's um, <clears throat> you know, it's it's all yeah. You know, come on, it's also a tryhard song. You know, it's like hey, let's do a fast song and let me talk about you know I fuck a bunch of women. Let me be like David Lee Roth, blah blah blah. But I don't know. I'll go with that. It's tryhard versus tryhard, and I'm giving that one a kiss. All right, then we flip the album over. Oh, before we do, I'm going to pick a random album behind me. And let's go over here. Talk about it, and then we'll keep going. We'll go into side two. What the hell is this? Jesse Coulter. I'm telling you, man. People give me vinyl. I never listen to it. I put it in my collection. So let me find something. I got to listen to that. Let me find something. Let's go up here. Let's pick this one right here. Asia. I love Asia. And I love this first album. Uh, Soul Survivor, Heat of the Moment. A lot of hits on here. Only Time Will Tell. Wildest Dreams. I love this album. What was that guy's name? John Wetton. Amazing singer. This is a great debut album. I absolutely love it. All right. Side two is Rub is a Deadly Weapon versus... Uh, don't stop now. Ugh. You know, I want it to stop. It's annoying me. There's another one that's just, it just annoys me. I mean, I can tell they can play, but this singer sucks, and I don't think they write songs that are good for me. And look, and also in my defense, I like Memory Remains from Metallica. I love ABBA, I love Ghost, I love a lot of shit people hate. So therefore, I'm not perfect to a lot of you, so there you go. Um, love's a deadly weapon. A lot of people hate that song. I love that song. I think that song rips. Okay, then we got uh, Tears Are Falling. Again, I hate that song. 
never liked the song. Yeah, Bruce does a good solo, but like I said, man, to me it's the song. And that song, what's that going against? Love Injection. Uh, what did I write about Love Injection? Um, it's, I would say it's the best song so far. Uh, still contrived with the funk guitar riffs. Uh, but it doesn't want me to go outside and punch an old lady, so I'm giving that one to Bang Tango, because I, I really hate Tears of Fallen. All right, then we got my favorite song off the album, Secretly Cruel, versus Just For You, the token ballad. You know, it's funny how ballads were so huge at the time, especially, the, you know, during uh, Asylum 2, and yet Asylum has no ballads. It's really strange. Um, but this is so predictable and horrible. And the guitar solo, I totally hear them borrow what Slash did in Patience. They're trying to be Guns N' Roses. There's a lot of these songs I hear a big Guns N' Roses riff. I don't think Bang Tango would sound like Bang Tango if it wasn't for Appetite for Destruction. That's for sure. They would sound more like um, Poison or something like that. You know, that I think. But... Jury's out, because that never happened. All right, so, uh, of course, I'm going to give that one a secretly cruel. All right, then we got Radar for Love. I hate that song. It's another one I hate. Paul trying to be Robert Plant. And that one's going against uh, Do What You're Told. Slapping the bass. I can tell the dude's a good bass player. He's really showcased in this song. Um... But, you know, it just reeks of white boys trying to be funk. That's how I get out of it. That's what I get out of it. And, you know, it's a talented bass player, but, again, I'm a fan of songs. Uh, but I would even put it above every song before the Tank album. I would say this is the best one. And it wins over Radar for Love. All right, the last track is uh, <clears throat> All Night terrible song that I actually love so therefore I have flaws as well okay not really as far as hey if I like it I like it fuck it you know uh, that one's going against a uh, sweet razor uh, again I can tell the band can play but this song borrows so much from Rocket Queen I hear Rocket Queen all over this song and uh, but it's just a poorly Poor man's Rocket Queen. It just doesn't do anything for me. And it's not my thing, and I'm giving it to the cheesy uh, all night. So in the end, Asala got one, two, three, four, five, six, and hey, man, Bang Tango got four. But that was because it went, it, it, come on, man. It went against songs I fucking hate. So it was crappy winning over crappy. So Tim, I know you're a cool dude, man, and I want to thank you for all the cool things you've done for me. And I hope it doesn't offend you. If it does, I'll be sure to mail you, special order, a pickle with little holes in it, and you can blow through it. Only if you're offended. If not, I'm not going to send you anything. Um, anyway, so, uh, hey, that's it. So, uh, hey, if you like to donate, i got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And uh, stay frosty. Listen to Sabbath. Smack him a gob.